Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Mars Horizon. We got our the United States of America is going to dominate the space age. Okay, we're going to and kick the Russians' ass, just like the demo last time, where they actually almost kicked our ass. Welcome to Earth, and uh, we've got uh, a. We don't have any main milestone missions, but I want to go over a couple of different things in the interface and stuff. Right, so we have a challenge at the top. And we need to complete three milestone missions. Currently, we've completed two of them, right? We've got these two. Uh, it's saying that it looks to me like we've only completed one. So I'm actually kind of thinking the test launch is not a milestone mission, even though it's listed here. It's kind of weird. Or maybe we need to progress another month and then this will tick. That's possible. But if we complete this, we get a million bucks and we have 179 months to do this, okay? Now, we don't have any more milestone missions we can do because animal and space and satellite imaging are locked, right? How do we unlock them? Well, you do that through your research, right? So you go into missions and as you come down, you can get the lunar orbit mission or you can get the animals and space mission, etc. And these are milestones we can, we can progress with. But here's a cool thing I didn't know. Era 1 Dawn of, Dawn of Space Flight, Era Completion Rewards. Each one of the three tabs has a completion reward that when you complete the era, and move to the next one, you get rewarded with whatever that is. In this case, the missions tab, you get space systems expertise, gives you plus 5% payload reliability across the board, which is pretty nice. If you go to the buildings, which I'm actually most interested in this one, just in the near term, because I really wanna hit research hard. I wanna be so fast on research that in the beginning, maybe people are kinda getting ahead of us, but I'm gonna snowball them and just boom. You know, that's what I wanna do. Um, Buildings. The era completion reward for this is 50% reduction in removal costs, obstruction removal costs, which means that when we go to the base and we say, hey, I want to get rid of, let's say, uh, I don't know, this big thing here at 75K or some of these are really expensive, right? Like this one here. Um, wait, wait. I thought these were expensive. These aren't that expensive anymore. Wait a minute. I thought they were like one and a half million. What happened to that? Oh, right here. Okay. <laughs> My camera's rotated. Got it. So this one here, right? One and a half million to remove this, like a whole bunch of rocks and all that stuff, right? We can knock that down to 750K just by doing the era, which is nice. Now, I don't need to build this way and I'm not going to. I'm going to actually, I think I'm going to hit research a little bit more and I kind of want to do it in this area. Uh, but this is 25K to remove. And so we'll probably want to do this uh, sooner rather than later. Let's go into research really quick and... Uh, by completing one of these two, you see how we highlight the, the path? So if I complete this one, I'll unlock that one available and this one available. I don't really get anything better out of the test pad. Aside from like putting the test pad down, we can train for launch reliability, which is an important thing. But I am going to uh, push payload reliability as a primary uh, for me. So spacecraft assembly facility is something I'm interested in. And this will unlock mission control, which is a huge, very important milestone to get to. It's not really a milestone, but it's a very important thing to get to because it unlocks an additional mission slot, meaning we can do two missions at once. And that's important to do. So I'm gonna hit this first and uh, we're gonna progress uh, one more month. And we have fears over the artificial satellite. Y'all scared, huh? Big brothers in the sky. Following your agency launching the first artificial satellite, several foreign newspapers have claimed the satellite represents a global security threat. The other four major space agencies have requested that your agency release the full specifications of your Explorer payload to provide its scientific purpose and quell public anxiety. Your advisors believe agreeing to the request will improve your reputation with the other agencies, though some may gain science from it. So we can increase our reputation with other space agencies, but they get a little more science. They get a little more on us. I think, I don't know, like this time, I think in this situation, I'm not sure the United States would be like, nah, we're not gonna release. I think actually what I think we would do is we would release almost all of it. In this case though, I don't wanna get in a bad mood with the ESA, because that's another space agency. Um, so 
And that, that's the one that we're, we're friends with. We're getting a bonus for that. So I'm going to share it this time. And we get 10 reputation with all of them. But another agency has gained science. It says another, but it doesn't say which one. I hope it's not Russia. <laughs> Spacecraft assembly facility research is completed. All right. It provides a clean room environment to aid the development of complex mission payloads. Very nice. So if we go over here, if I wanted to build this, it's 100,000. And we can train for payload reliability if we want to, right? It's a pretty big building. We get adjacency bonuses in this spot for all three things. We're going to get lower cost, higher reliability, and reduced build time if we place this right here, which is where I want this. I want this right here. So we're going to come over, and I'm going to clear this. This is 25K to remove. So we're just going to pay the 25K. Oh, or not. Oh, tutorial. Right, clearing obstruction. Gotcha. We're just going to hit this. That clears that out of the way, right? It's 25,000 to do that. Okay. Then we're going to go into the spacecraft and we're going to build and place this right here. We get all those adjacency bonuses for doing that as well. So when that's done, our payload reliability will go up and like we'll get all of those adjacency bonuses that will help us in future missions. Speaking of future missions, without going forward another month, we're going to pick right now. We're going to, I'm going to get mission control right now, but, but we have another mission we can do if we go to the requests we have a test launch for a high altitude photography now these requests are different than milestones milestone missions are the most important ones it's sort of like the progression of your um your space agency it's kind of like this milestone that you can show the world what you can do but some private enterprise does want our help in doing certain things. And in this case, launching a sounding rocket equipped with a 35 millimeter camera to capture images of the curvature of the Earth from high altitudes. Yes, there's a curvature to the Earth, folks. I don't know if you knew that, but the Earth has a curve to it. You can capture it. We have on cameras. It's great. Yeah. Hashtag uh, flat earthers. What the hell are you thinking? <laughs> anyway, test launch, high altitude photography. We're going to do this. So let's plan this mission. Now we have a build, we can build our sounding rocket, of course, and we start out with 40% launch reliability, which is kind of bad, but we can't really do anything about that. Looks like that's the only thing we can do. So, cause it's a sounding rocket. So, okay. Confirm that 77 K to do that. And we get 40%. Hopefully we get something that in a trait that unlocks uh, higher reliability. Let's hope. And of course, if I had gone th for the launch reliability uh, science thing, then we could probably have a flat bump to that across the board too. Um, so our sounding rockets would be more reliable, but let's just cross our fingers and hope that RNG is with us. Yeah. Um, diplomacy, the ESA is uh, really liking us. And the more they like us, the more likely they are to uh, do co-op missions with us or uh, inter-organization cooperation missions. So I, I don't know exactly the specific benefits of that, but I want to say that the other agency is going to provide some of the funding, provide some of the science output, provide some of the reliability, the build, the part, part of the cost, etc. And you can achieve things with other agencies. All right. So I think we can probably just go all the way to the completion of that other event. Uh, but we have radiation belts discovered. Data from your recent artificial satellite mission has confirmed that belts of trapped radiation surround Earth, shielding the planet from the sun's cosmic rays. We get 200 science for that. That's beautiful. All right. High altitude photography vehicle is complete. Hopefully there's something. No effect. Okay, so we're going to start with 40% reliability. It's kind of lame, but it is what it is. We can always train for science. We might as well. It doesn't really add anything to the launch time. Uh, and if we are able to push it up there and be successful, we can get extra stuff. It looks like we have reliable launches all around. So let's go ahead and select the nearest date. Uh, we are only going to get a five bonus. If I wanted to get a bigger bonus for the science, I could push this. But, you know, since it's got really low reliability anyway, there's a pretty good chance of failure. So I'm going to go ahead and just have that be the mission setup. We'll get an extra 5% for it. Not a big deal, but we're going to launch it first. And uh, getting mission control is going to be huge. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it, though. I guess we'll see what the adjacency bonuses are all about. And space uh, craft assembly facility will be complete next month, which I think retroactively helps our stuff because we're launching it today. I don't know that, though. 40%. Maybe not. Actually, I think that, that reduces cost and build times. I don't think it does any reliability for launches. All right, let's go. So far, it seems good. 
Weather seems nice. We got some clouds, but uh, other than that, nothing real, nothing real big. So that's nice. Malamute launch day on this glorious launch day. Praise be to the RNG gods. We get plus four percent reliability. All right, well, adequate conditions. Let's go. Five, four, this is all we can hope three, for, really. Two, one, and lift off. This tiny, it looks so small. Compared to our artificial satellite rocket, it's so small, you know? These little sounding rockets. Quick, take the picture before it explodes. No, you, you gotta do it from above the Earth. That's how you gotta do it. Okay. 71% secure launch. Very nice. Very nice. And we're gonna get our sounding rockets to be a bit more reliable now. That sounds nice. Okay, we get all the, the mission rewards for that. No big deal. There's nothing in space for that. It's just a sounding rocket. So other people are gonna take control of that and do the thing they need to do. Completed the mission request and build mission control. That's the next thing it wants us to do, which I have researched. So let's see what kind of adjacency bonuses and stuff are available for that. Um, could probably get away with... Um, you know, if I was to rotate you, can I, how do I rotate it? Isn't there like a, oh, a Z and X. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So we only get the adjacency bonus for these two buildings. I could put it here and get the adjacency bonus for those two buildings, or I could put it here and get the adjacency bonus. So that's plus 1% launch reliability, which is nice and reduce payload cost. If I do it over here, I get same thing uh if i do it over here i only get that uh payload cost so this is a three percent payload cost and this is a two percent payload cost okay so i would probably want to put it over here if i can get away with it looks like there's going to be yeah plus there's an opportunity to get another adjacency bonus on this by placing something right here later i like that so if i place this it will clear the obstruction and place the building in all one go and it will cost 300,000 to do that. And that will be mission control. And uh, do I want this tower to be really back, far back? I think so. I, I think I kind of like it like this. Um, if I was to rotate the camera around, how does this come out of the... I think I like this. How would I really want it, though? Actually, if I did it like this, I'd have even more opportunity for adjacency bonuses. No, this is better because we can get the adjacency bonus on this side. And whenever we place something over here, we could get it on this as well because it sticks out on that side. So this is probably the best place to do it. I'm going to hit it here. All right. Mission control is going down. That's going to open up the possibility for us to do multiple missions at once. Very exciting stuff. Very exciting times. Um, do we want to go? I think we do want to go down vehicles because we're not going to be able to do. I mean, we actually, we need to we need to get going on this, though, don't we? Yeah, we probably do. Let's get started on the lunar orbit. We're going to need the Delta rockets to do that, though. Lunar orbit research is completed. Uh, achieving lunar orbit is a challenging endeavor for any space agency, requiring a payload capable of not only reaching the moon, but also the careful course corrections to maintain orbit around it. Okay. China has just now completed their test launch. Good for you. What else did it say? NASA completed high-altitude photography. China completed the test launch. Japan failed the artificial satellite. Oh, poor you. Poor Japan. RNG is not with you. That's okay. You guys will get it next time. Believe me. You guys will totally. I, I can see it. You're totally going to get it. To do this, we need the payload pioneer. But I'm also going to need, uh, need a vehicle that can do that for them. I think I want the Delta booster. Delta's pretty good. It's expensive, but it's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. And then mission control is done in three months. We have a new request. Okay, hang on. New mission request. Two of them, actually. Um, we have... Uh, mission requests also ha often have special modifiers that make aspects of the mission more challenging, as well as increasing the potential rewards. Consider these carefully before choosing the request mission attempt. So this time, it's publicized. So orbital radio, equip a basic satellite with a radio transmitter, the emissions of which can be tracked around the globe. There's a low risk 
is the lowest level of mission difficulty. However, these missions may still prove a challenge to new players. <laughs> Let's do it. So publicized. We'll get plus 25% support reward for the mission when we succeed. However, if we fail, we will lose 50% more support for the failure. So there's that. Uh, we also, I mean, this is going to help us get up to that next tier of support too. Yeah. Okay. Let's um, let's plan this, and we want as much reliability as we can get here. I think so. Why don't I pay? Should I pay the extra for the? I think I could. I think I should pay the extra for the extra power just to make sure once we get in orbit, this will be successful. That extra power could be crucial, especially for the bonuses. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay for the 140. Pay the 141 for the payload, and get the extra power from it. So we're down to 72k, guys. But two months from now, we'll be able to do another one. Race to space. The prospect of launching the first human into space is dominating the newspapers. Most have labeled it an impossible endeavor, whilst the less skeptical outlets claim a rival agency are bound to get there first. Several have contacted your agency for a statement. So I can either decline to enter the race or declare that I will win the race. Oh. All right, go on then. Let's go. We've gained 100 support for declaring we'll win, but now we have to win. <laughs> so, you know. Um, Japan's launching the first satellite name. I don't think Japan is going to be an issue in terms of... Let me just see really quick on... Is there any way to see what other agencies have already done? Uh, most recent milestone is touch launch. They have... So, Russia is about to do the satellite in one month. Okay. ESA's hasn't even done the satellite. Okay. And then China is doing the satellite this month, hopefully with um, success, uh, asterisk. Uh, and then Japan, we have a 70 relationship with them, and they are going to do the satellite in seven months. So we're actually considerably ahead of them for now. I don't suppose that that will necessarily stay the way it is though expected reliability on this is 66 percent all right let's uh go next month mission control is complete it's responsible for the critical phase of a mission after launch monitoring and issuing commands to a spacecraft it unlocks one additional mission slot delta research is also complete it's an early liquid fuel rocket design to launch small payloads into earth orbit and beyond which is nice because we can then plop this orbital radio on the Delta if we want to, if we need that extra reliability because this is a publicized mission and because I want the Delta to be even better, rely more reliable later for more expensive missions, I may choose to use it if it lets me. So the upper stage is just going to be this Viking here. Comes with uh, bad reliability for now. Um, for the booster, we, we can't actually use the Delta, it seems. It says none is good. You must first... We must build the required launch pad before you can launch the vehicle. Ah, it's it needs a heavier launch pad. Okay, well, let's go ahead with the Vanguard then. It is a lot cheaper after all, anyway. This is way expensive. But I wanted to get the reliability up on the Delta. Okay, um, well, we'll go with the Vanguard then. It's, again, highly publicized, so it seems like, eh, on this. Uh, there's not really anything I can do to change it. It's still a level one part here, and this Vanguard is still a level one part here. Maybe we can level it up. You know, maybe we can level it up. It'll be 66% across the board, but in space, if we can get it there, we'll have two bonus power, which will be amazing. So let's go ahead and confirm that. 96k is super affordable. Build it. Now, do we want to do another mission? Right? Oh, here we go. Congratulations on completing all the tutorial objectives. Your agency has demonstrated its technological expertise and opened countless minds to the possibilities of space travel. From here on out, the direction of the agency is down to you. Will you focus on pushing the boundaries of human exploration or probing the far reaches of the solar system? Those seem like in many ways the same thing but all right remember to balance your research efforts across all research trees and to use spare mission slots to conduct 
request missions to bolster your resources. Above all, explore, experiment, and inspire. Good luck, Director. Thank you. All right. So we are we are doing okay here um, as far as like getting all of our stages and stuff sorted. I was going to go after the Delta upper stage, but it looks like I need to have two of these before I'm allowed to do that. So there's that. Buildings, we're doing okay on that, but I need the medium launch pad to launch the Delta. And I will need this to go to the moon. And uh, as far as missions go, probably should work on animals in space since we just promised we were going to be first at it. So probably should do that. Let's do that. Ah, the Soviet Union completed their artificial satellite. Good for you. <laughs> I'm going to be so salty to the Russians this entire playthrough. <laughs> If you're Russian, uh, nothing personal. It's just, uh, you know, red, white, and blue, man. <laughs> training. Okay, so training, because we have laid down the, the other buildings now, we have actually have the ability to unlock payload reliability training. And the engineers will perform a suite of additional systems and environmental tests upon the payload, aiming to improve its core stability. The training will increase payload reliability up to a maximum of 15%, but every month we focus this, every month it takes on this, we'll increase it by 3%. So we're going to focus on this, because I really like payload reliability. Now we can launch in any one of these months. I'm going to launch in March. It's going to give us an extra 9% payload reliability, but if it's suboptimal here or there's weather conditions and I don't feel comfortable with it, I can always delay it to April at that point and still go. So let's hit select date and we're going to confirm the mission setup now. Awesome. Okay. So three months, we'll launch the orbital radio and um, hopefully again, we'll get, uh, we have bonus power on that and hopefully bonus reliability on it. We should have no problem getting the bonus objectives if there is one. All right, budget review. We're, of course, going to get even more budget because we're awesome. Ooh, we're almost up to the next tier already. Nice. Okay, so uh, 297 is what we got for money. Animal in space is almost done, and I think we have another slot available. So let's check this out. Uh, test, test launch guidance system test. Uh, ionospheric measurements. Can't quite prep. I, I kind of wanted to prep this because we're because we're wanting to be first and since we already we only have two months on the orbital radio though uh funding reviews in 12 when is i think animal is basically gonna be done right i think it's 112 per month so no it'll be one extra month unless we get extra science yeah so we could take another mission i guess um Ionospheric measurements. Let's go with... We could just go with this. It gives us 500 science. Low risk. Experimental payload. Uh, your scientists have proposed using prototype technology on this mission's payload. This will increase the chance of errors during the mission, but will also greatly increase science yields. I'm up for that. It's going to be a difficult mission with... Ooh, look at that payload reliability. It's terrible. Oh my god, it's terrible. I'm going to need the bonus power. I'm going to need the bonus power. Otherwise, I'm just not going to... I'm just going to fail all the time. Let's try it. Gosh, this might not be the best one to take, actually. You will be able to reattempt this request until it expires. You will receive a refund of zero. Because I haven't... Yeah. Because I haven't actually put any money into it yet. Maybe we just do this one instead. It's safer. We don't get as much support. We don't get as much science. But the thing is, we need the money to start the animals in space thing anyway. Although, I don't think we'll actually be able to do it right away. Because we need the payload. We need we need this. We're going to need Eden. Like We need the capsule anyway. And then uh, with that capsule, most likely we'll need the medium launch pad to launch the Delta Rock. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do actually before we can do that anyway. So why don't we just take it? We'll plan this mission. I want the extra power because there's a good chance we fail without having it. So let's build the payload now. And we'll go the next month. China's launching Animal in Space in 10 months. Oh my God. 
No. No. No, we're not going to be first. No. I went to the wrong research, guys. I went to this one. Oh, no. I think we're going to lose. Unless China fails. China has been known to fail. You know? They've, they've failed in the past. It's possible they fail again. We have only have two requests going, and we can't start that mission until we uh, get through the orbital radio launch anyway, so let's go. J Japan proposes research exchange. Japan has proposed an exchange of technology research. They're offering to share their rocket test pad research if your agency shares its research on spacecraft assembly facility. Accepting the offer would unlock the research rocket test pad. Okay. Yeah, I suppose we could probably do that. Okay, it's Japan. So we gain reputation with Japan too, which is nice because I think that makes us friends now. At least I'm hoping it does. Animal and space research is complete. Launching an animal into space provides crucial testing of life support systems without risking astronauts. They can also be sent in smaller spacecraft and don't necessarily need to be brought back to Earth. Oh my God. Oh my God, that sucks. I'm sorry. Wow. Wow. Rocket test pad research complete. A rocket test pad will allow further and more rigorous vehicle engine tests. So we just got that research for free from Japan. I'm okay with working with Japan if it means Russia doesn't get anything. Yeah, 41% sucks. Okay, let's do the orbital radio. And this is publicized, so we really want to have this good. We're going to have 75% reliability because of the extra 3% we've been doing here, right? We had those three months. So let's hope that the conditions are great. They appear to be okay. It appears to be fine. Still no rain, we're getting lucky. We need some luck. All right, so we've got uh, 6% good conditions. That's awesome. 72%. 72%. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on. Be awesome. Be awesome, please. We have lift off. Please be awesome. There's a really low chance of critical failure here, but it can still happen. I've seen it. At least it's in space. At the very least, it's in space. But we did have a negative. We did have a negative on the launch. Payload failure. One random command is lost from a module on the first turn of the first task. Hmm. One random command is lost. Okay. Well, uh, we got extra power, right? So, hopefully. Um, we can also auto-resolve the mission if we want to. This is interesting. Hand over control of this mission phase to a second operations team. The success chance is based upon payload reliability. So right now there is a 69% chance that we'll complete the phase, 23% chance that we'll have outstanding success, and 8% chance that we fail the mission, or we can play it out ourselves. And I want to play it out ourselves because I want that bonus, and I'm not sure that the other team is going to get that 23% chance to have a great success. So I think I have a better chance of 23% of getting that. And we have to achieve two of these and one of these. Seems straightforward enough, considering we have extra power. Four turns remaining, two commands per turn, and we're going to lose one of these ones at random. 50-50 chance of losing one. So I'm going to... I think what I'll do is I'll pop both power modules... See, the problem with this is that if the first one fails, then this one's impossible to do. So I end up failing both. If I try this one and the first one failed, then again, this is impossible. I failed both. So I think the safest thing to do here is to hit this one twice. Then that way, I guarantee I only lose one communication module. So I'm going to do that. Or we'll have to spend extra power because the other one will probably fail. Uh, we can resist. Yeah. We paid We paid for the extra power, so we're going to use it. And then this one will just get lost, right? Isn't that how that works? 
Damn, really? So much for great payload reliability. We have the extra power. I'm going to use it. And then we get this. Okay, so now we have two of these guys, which is great. Now, the bonus reward is to get four of these guys. And we use those bonus power that we paid for already. So that sucks. Uh, what we could do is we can spend one of these. I got it. We're going to spend one of these modules here to get three of these guys. And then we're going to spend uh, one of these guys to get two more of these. And that will get us up to a whole bunch there. Let's let's go. Oh, crit, crit success. Yes! Yes! That offsets a lot of the problems. That's awesome. That offsets a lot of problems. We can now fail the next one. And we don't have to resist it. That's perfect. And then I think we get bonuses for having turns left as well. I think that's how that goes. So we just need to get one more of these. And honestly, I can just... I can just bop this twice, or I can spend one of these extras and get two of them. And now if we crit fail, we'll still get, um, we'll still get one of them and then that will be enough. So we really only need just this. We'll recharge power as our second option. Go. And we get success on it anyway. So GG. Bonus objective completed. What's up? Yeah. Hey, we're, pre we're pretty good at this, aren't we? We're pretty good at this. It's a good thing I had that extra power, though, right? Publicized, man. Publicized. It's important to utilize your publicity. Good. NASA completed orbital radio. Beautiful. All right. So active missions. We want to send... Whoops. Nope. Although, we could use the base. I want to set research first, and we're going to need this to get that first animal in space. And that's going to take us how long to do? A lot? Well, we're going to get 418 this month, so that's good. But uh, I'm not entirely sure we can do this in time to beat China. I need China to fail. And that's what I need. I need China to fail. I Ionospheric measurements. I would love to do this still. Um, I'm a little bit tight on cash. Can I see what it's going to take us to do animals in space? Still can't do this. Why? Oh, because I just, I can't even start it till I have eaten. Gosh, please. Please, China, you're going to need to fail. China needs to fail. Uh, well, we have the, we have the mission slot available. So why don't we just go ahead and try to build this? And the upper stage will use this because we can booster stage we're probably going to use this i think so yeah it's cheaper and it has more reliability so okay 96 seraphic seraphic two months to complete this rocket uh, both ways actually rock it and rocket go rocket rocket <laughs> rocket test pad we get 100 plus 100 science per month if we want to build this we get negatives across the board there, but we could get positives if we put it here. I like the idea of putting something else here for the mission control, but I could put it here. It just costs too much because of that obstruction. I think I want to wait to place this. We could technically get away with it here. Reduces build cost on our vehicles. But if I can get this, then I also get the plus one reliability. Yeah, I'd like that, too. I'm going to wait on building this. Plus, I want the extra cash to do the the monkey mission. So, we'll go next month. And then we're going to need... We're going to need one more month to get Eden unlocked. So, and that will be when Seraphic is complete. So, uh, yeah, and then we'll be able to start this mission. Seven months. Oh, this is not good. Eden research complete. Small capsule able to carry animals into space to study the effects of space flight on living organisms. Right now, that capsule. Again, I think that capsule needs a bigger launch pad. Okay. Payload reliability got reduced, unfortunately, but the launch is much more reliable. 
so we can focus our training on payload reliability instead. And we set a launch date for, let's go with September. Get extra 12% offsets the penalty. We could even do October. But this gives us science, and we're going to need that bump. Ooh, yeah. Let's do September. Confirm. Okay. Now, Japan's launching Animal in Space in 11 months. China is going to be doing this very soon. It's not great. Um, we actually get space systems. What is this? Exper experience? Experiment? Uh, our agency's increasing expertise. Oh, expertise. I see. So if we get plus five payload reliability, if I just go for one of these right now, I get the payload reliability, right? Because that... Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. Because I need to get into era two to do that. Never mind. Um, we're going to need a vehicle. Let's go with Jupiter or Scout. Probably Jupiter. So I can get the Delta, Delta upper stage. Where we go buildings. We're going to need a medium launch pad. Let's, let's research that. All right. So the, the mission. Monkeys in space. Animal in space. Let's plan this. We got 400 grand. Okay. This is already going to cost us 235. So you can see it's very expensive. We can get increased power. Which, uh, of course, really raises reliability. We really want that. Um, but, I mean, we're already at 71, actually. Oh, man, that's a huge increase, though. Eight power is a huge increase. I just need to make sure I have enough money for the launch vehicle. It's going to take two months to build. Hmm. I have to make sure I have enough money for the launch vehicle. I'm going to need to be, a, I'm going to have to be comfortable with this five power. We're just going to have to be really good at playing the game. Okay. So two months to build this go. We're not going to take the bonus power this time because of the cost. Because if I can't afford the launch vehicle, I need to delay a month until I do. And that's not good. So next month. Uh, okay. Signal received. A group of children on the opposite side of the world have managed to pick up radio signals from your recent orbiting satellite as part of a school project. The story has been widely covered in the press. We're going to send them mission memorabilia. Gives us 100 support right now, but if I do this, your agency has sent a collection of memorabilia to the school, including a miniature models of the satellite, and thank the children for their scientific research. Yes, that's good. I like that. It's only $10,000 to a school. It's worth it for the education of young minds. Plus, they're Americans, and we want more great scientists in our space program. So we're going to need to fork over the dough to make that happen for the kids. Okay, next month, animal and space payload is done. Crossing my fingers for some positive bonus effects. Nothing. Okay, 71% is still pretty good. I just I don't like how we don't have a whole lot of power, but it's still pretty good. 325 is what we are allowed to invest in our launch vehicle. To the upper stage. Oh boy, see, see. We need a bigger. We need a bigger thing. We can build this, but we can't launch it until it's done, right? And now I got. I'm concerned about the parts. So let me go back to research really quick here. So we are getting medium launch pad, but it will take a while to get that, and then I have to pay for it. Um, and I don't know where. I'm, I'm probably going to put it over here. It'd probably be better to put it right here. I just don't think I can afford to because this is a lot of terrain to clear. Uh, ideally, putting it here would have been great too. But again, a lot of terrain to clear. Might be able to get away with moving this and just putting it here. I believe it's big though. Like, like you're going to want to put it here kind of big. Hmm. Well... The atmospheric measurements, right? There's two months until we launch this, and it should provide us with more support and more science. So if we wanted to accelerate the two months, we're going to get a huge bump in science. We'll probably be able to get that launch pad. Um, but if we're looking at vehicle parts, I haven't really been going down Delta enough. So um, 
Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. What can we what can we do here? To actually get this before China. If China fails, this is a lot less pressure. I need higher reliability, you know. I'm gonna have to research this part before we can begin construction even. So like I just don't have the parts to do this. This is bad. This sucks. The booster I have, but I need a bigger launch pad. But we'll have really great launch reliability in exchange for a lot of cost. We're going to need China to fail. Yeah, we're going to need China to fail on this. It's called Stargazer, but we can't actually do it yet because we have to research the parts first. So why don't we shift gears on our research really quick? And we need to research this. Ooh, which is not possible because I don't have this done yet. Ouch. Ouch. How much science does this cost? I probably shouldn't make promises I can't keep. This one costs less, and it gets us to Delta faster. So I'm going to go do that instead. Let's go. And then I think that's kind of it. Yeah, next month. When is, when is China doing this? China's doing this in three months. We're not going to be able to. We're not going to be able to beat them. We might be able to beat Japan, but China has to fail for us to be successful here. Unfortunately, I chose. I chose the satellite path instead, and then the media said I probably should have declined the race. It'd be bad if we say we're going to be first and then we're not first. You know, scout research complete. I had no idea the Russians were going to be such pushovers this time. I guess I should probably start taking China seriously, huh? Uh. Really bad payload reliability here, um, but really good on the launch. And as long as we can get it up to space, we got a shot. Yeah, so it's raining today. Not great. Probably need to postpone. Terrific. Uh, we'll see what the impact is. If it's like 5% or something, I might chance it. But if it's like a big hit, 8%. Okay. Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm good to go. I think I'm I think I'm good to go. 71, we'll take it. Five, four, three, two. I would never do that in real life though, no way. That's like all the real life money. 71%? Eh. Four. We have lift off. But also we're not in the space race right now, so I guess I don't know what it's like to have to race another agency in real life. No. 71% success. Now we have to see if there's any negatives from that. It looks like we're good to go. Okay. So let's see about the upper stage is what I'm really worried about because we have less than a 50% chance of success up there. But let's just see if we can make it happen. Some tech with some uh, intelligent decisions. We need two of each. Common data. Let's rock. Okay. Bonus reward if we can get here. That's unlikely. But we do have the extra power. We invested in that because of the low, lower liability. So we can start off in a very similar way as we have before by investing the extra power to get three of these off the bat. And that's obviously we're going to have to invest that extra power uh, to resist this because we are going to fail. And I need that. I need that unit in order to get the next one anyway. So I have to resist the first one in order to have any chance of getting the second one. This is going to be very hard. I've used the extra power already. But, you know, now, now is the tricky part. I can spend this. I think. Two power. I can spend this one. Which at least completes the objective. And then the next one we can just spend the power. Or I need recharge. I think I need to recharge. Just in case I need to resist. Let's, let's let's confirm this. We'll recharge one. Yeah, because we need to resist basically everything because of how reliable this is. So that the extra power we paid an extra 50 grand for is going to provide really crucial power for us to succeed here. So technically we're success. We have a com we're completed right now. Um, but if we want to try for the bonus, we need to get two more of these. So I need to invest power here and here, or I can invest one 
to get two more here and then trade. And then use the power in case we fail. Or I can get three of these. If I spend one power to get three of those, I can then spend one. Oh, no, because I have to. No, I don't want to do that. Um, nope. Uh, if I spend one of these, then I have to get one. If I spend one, then I have to get one. And I only can I can only afford to resist one of these. Let's try it. I can only afford to resist it once. So if the next one fails, if the next one fails, then I have to take I have to do it. I have to just accept it. Man, can we get one success here, please? Just once? Jesus. <laughs> the answer is no, gamer. The answer is no. You cannot. There'll be no success here. All right. Now I just need one of these units, and I don't have any power. So we have to recharge, and then we have to spend. And I can't afford to resist. So if the first one, if this fails, it fails. That's basically it. If it fails, it fails. We'll get the recharge, and then we'll pray for at least something. Oh, come on! Yay! Yay! Bonus objective! About freaking time, man. 50-50, and I'm failing everything. It's actually not 50-50, right? It's 41% reliability, so... There is an, a nearly 60% chance of failure on every single one of those. And yeah, I needed that extra power. That's impossible without that extra power. So very good. Okay. Only six months left. No research is set. I need the... I have the money for it. I need the Delta stage. If I can get that, I might be able to build it faster. I don't know. What's the, um, what's the build time for this? I know I know it's I know what's required, but I need one I need to know what it's gonna cost me to eight months build time. Yeah. Both of those other agencies are gonna have to fail for us to Yeah. That's unfortunate. Um I wonder if it's possible to wait. Edit this design. Is it possible to use this one? Because we have it now. That's the scout. And then use the scout here. That's a three month. But, you know, it's worth it. We can do it right now. Right? We can do it right now. It's three months build time at 110,000. This beats Japan. But we still need China to fail. And it's really bad reliability, too. Like, we may fail it. The monkey just may die. Like, right off the launch pad. Is it worth... We will not beat China. But trying this beats Japan. So if China fails... Then we succeed. Potentially. I think I'm going to take the risk. I think I'm going to take the risk. It sounds bad. It sounds real bad. But I'm going to take the risk. Let's go. And you will find out whether or not that is a good idea in the next video. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, for watching Mars Horizon uh, with me. Hopefully in glorious 4K for you. I have many, many more videos to come. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. So much content coming. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.